So from Nescaf, this is Nef Nescaf of Zira, and this is a latte they do. It's called My what's that called? My Way Latte. My Way Latte. See that there? I can't remember where I picked this up. I just picked it up. Um, and how you make this, we're going to make it in a second, but how you make this, you add three, three teaspoons of this. So this is in here. I've not had none, but I think one of the kids has. So it's like that. So you add three teaspoons um, into your favourite mug. They like saying favourite mug, don't they? Something else I had a coffee review on said favourite mug. Pour your choice of milk. So you can use semi-skin, skimmed, full fat, whatever milk you want. But you put 400, 40, so you put 40 ml of milk in and then you top it up with hot water. Well, you give it a good stir to get your base of your latte, they're saying. And then you top it up with boiling water or just under boiling water. Yeah, my way latte. Let's try this. Let's get up and make one. And we'll come back and I'll tell you whether that's a nice latte or the, we'll pass on that. Right now we're going to make this My Way Latte from Nescaf that I've got right there. Before we get started, just to plug in again. We've got our own website. We make these handmade soy wax bars, fully soya, 100% vegan, vegetarian as well. All biodegradable. So many cents. There's even a coffee one. Check us out now. Foreverhomewax.com. Brand new website. It's live now. It's not expensive. It's quite cheap. Let's make this my way latte. So what they are saying. Three heaped teaspoons of this powder. So it's got like a... You can see it there. It's almost like them instant coffee sachets. You know the ones that come with milk and everything. So now what you've got to do. You've got to add 40 ml of milk. I'm not going to weigh it or measure it out. I'm just going to... What I think 40 ml of milk is. Uh, I'm saying that's about 40 ml. And now it says you've got to stir it to make the latte base. Not going to add any sugar to this, so we'll see whether it's got any sugar in it. It might be quite, I don't know, it's not going to be as hot or as warm as your normal instant coffee because you've got probably more milk in this than normal. Give that a good stir, it says. Stir. Stir. <laughs> stir that. Well, it looks pretty mixed in to me. Let's add uh, water to the base mix. Almost looks like a latte. Give it another stir. I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna taste it. Of course I am. Let's see what we think of it. Oh, it's going and getting a bit of a head on that as well. I don't know if you can see that. It's getting a bit of a head, and you can see the coffee going down. Nice. It looks nice. Yeah. My way latte from Nesca. Pretty easy to make, and it has given me a bit of a. Because normally with a, a latte you have like a, a froth on top, and it has given me a bit of a, a bit of a froth there, which don't look too bad. Get rid of the spoon. Oh, it's definitely sugar in that. So when I made it, I didn't add sugar. And I remember saying, when I taste this, I want to know if there's any sweetness coming through, any sweetness coming through. It's like maybe half a spoon of sugar to one spoon. That's the level of sweetness they're giving you without you putting sugar in it. I wish they didn't put the sugar in it. That's what I would say, because not everyone likes sugar in their coffee. Or, t or tea. I know this ain't tea, but not everyone likes sugar in their tea or coffee. And this is 100% got, got a spoonful of sugar in it. And, and, and that's a criticism, because I wish it didn't. It, it, it's not needed, because if you're making that at home, you can have a bag of sugar. Overall, as coffee goes... It tastes, it tastes all right. The, the coffee actually tastes all right. It does taste like one of them. And then packets you get, you rip the top off, you put it in, you add your water. It tastes a bit like one of them, but a little bit more creamy. That's probably because I've added a bit of my own milk as well. I, 
I'm gonna give this a four out of 10 on my coffee rating scale when you've got down here, like I've said before, down here you've got the cheap, nasty supermarket stuff that you buy in emergency and up here you've got the Italian, Turkish and all them specialist ranges of coffee shops. Here, you've got a four and that's where it's gonna stay. If it didn't have the added sugar in it, it probably would have gone up to a five, but it weren't going much higher, four and a half. Uh, uh, five at a push, four and a half probably is where it would be. And you need three spoons as well, so that ain't gonna last as long as you think it will. Oh, it says 13 mugs. What a mug I am. It does say 13 mugs right there. Would I buy it again? No. But taste-wise, the, the coffee and that, like I said, like one of them little whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. That's what it tastes like. You like to take care for more coffee related reviews, subscribe, flick through the other videos, check out the website, foreverandwax.com. We've all got to earn a living. Buy one for your mum, or nan, sister, wife, girlfriend, handmaid. I'll see you in the next video.